Play it again, Sam. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. I know things are a little bit different today. Completely new background, and I look like I am about to enter into a gangster mob <laughs> film or be part of the Blues Brothers. But no, we are in fact here today watching Casablanca. I know. I know. Who would have who would have thought? <laughs> well, I'm actually dressed like this because I thought it would be an amazing opportunity to uh, wear a different suit. And judging by the pictures I've seen of Casablanca, I don't own a white suit. So, <laughs> and I know he wears a hat similar to this. Although if you think it looks like I'm in a smoky bar at the moment or that someone is smoking off camera, it's actually my coffee. And uh, yeah, I know, I've got that in a, an old style mug as well, an old tin enamel type mug. With it off camera, it kind of looks like someone's smoking in the corner, <laughs> which kind of adds to the uh, to the look of it all. Now, if you want to check out the full version of this reaction, you can see it over on the Patreon page. What's a Patreon page? You may notice a slight difference to the backdrop and to the chair. Well, I decided to change it all up so that it kind of matched in with the film. Also, just to say, because I'm wearing the hat, I can't wear the headphones that I normally wear. So, unfortunately, I've had to go to uh, little earbud type things. Do you know what's fantastic, by the way? My clapperboard is a Warner Brothers clapperboard. So it's perfect for this film. So without further ado, tally ho, old boy. Humphrey Bogart, Ingrid Bergman, Paul Henry, in Casablanca. I love black and white films. For years, I have been just obsessed with vintage type stuff. And uh, as you can tell. <laughs> directed by Michael Curtis. I'm interested to see what it's going to be about. Many eyes in imprisoned Europe turned hopefully or desperately toward the freedom of the Americas. So a tortuous roundabout refugee trail sprang up. I love the model of the, the world. Hey. Okay, so set during the war. Here, the fortunate ones through money might obtain exit visas and scurry to Lisbon. Okay. The others wait in Casablanca. It's kind of making sense. <laughs> at the moment. Sometimes it takes me a little while to get into these. Two German couriers carrying important official documents on train from Oran. And possible accomplices headed for Casablanca. Round up all suspicious characters and search them for stolen document. Oh, so now they're going to be on the lookout for... Uh-oh. So presumably our main characters are going to be in hiding. It's just a guess, though. I know of Humphrey Bogart. But I don't know Ingrid Bergman. I have to ask you to come along. Wait, it's possible that, uh, yes. Here we are. <laughs> These papers it's expired fake. three weeks ago. You have to come along. <laughs> run, boy! Run! Oh, they just killed him then and there. I beg of you, monsieur. Watch yourself. Be on guard. This place is full of vultures, vultures everywhere. He's one of them. He's probably just stolen his wallet, hasn't he? Oh, thank you, thank you very much. Not at all. Au revoir. He has, hasn't he? He's just left so quickly. Waiter. <laughs> he's a hundred percent. Yeah, he's stolen. I left my wallet in the hotel. Oh. No, you didn't. <laughs> he just stole it, old boy. Honestly, how did you miss that? My word. Oh, they're flying in on the plane now. Should I just speak like this the entire time? Maybe I should. Hello. I love that. Little model of the plane. Who's on the plane? Ah, the general. By the way, there are certain things that I may have to either tweak in edit. Certain symbols, like on the plane there. Major Stasser, an occupied France welcomes you to Casablanca. And certain names, if they are mentioned. Captain Torelli, the Italian staff is at your command, Major. He does not care. You know already who the m is. Good. Is he in custody? Oh, there's no hurry. Tonight he'll be at Rick's. Mm-hmm. <laughs> ah, it's Rick's Cafe American. Le American from one of the Bond films. Have to find Le American. Of course, they didn't exist as we watch this. Hello, <laughs> you have to 
wonderful you had to be. See, the play it again sound that I mentioned at the start, is this the Sam? I only know that from a very quick clip that is apparently from Casablanca. Sorry, madame, but diamonds are a drug on the market. Everybody sells diamonds. There are diamonds everywhere. She has stolen them, I think. It leaves at one tomorrow night and bring 15,000 francs in cash. But everything was done so under the table. Things could have been very under the table because they were trying to hide a lot from the other side. Will you ask Rick if he have a drink with us? Madame, he never drinks with customers. So we are about to see the famous Rick. Presuming we haven't seen him yet. Banking house in Amsterdam. Wait, Second it's Rick. Magic. Humphrey Bogart. I think he will be. Monsieur. Now here's Rick. I mean, I don't recognise hands, but oh, that, that is him, I think. By the suit, the style. Ah, there he is, Mr. Humphrey Bogart. I know there is coming in there. There is no secret. Excuse me, please. Hello, Hello Rick. Rick. Hey, he's in it. I don't know his name, I'm so sorry. But he's the guy who talks like this all the time. Hello there. I shall report it to the angry. <laughs> You're not allowed in, sir. you just now with the Deutsche Bank. One would think you've been doing this all your life. Yeah, it's him. <laughs> but when you first came to Casablanca, I thought... You thought what? <laughs> what right do I have to think? <laughs> we thought you were in hiding. So is he one yeah. of the... I'm presuming that is it. He is one of the... I got a lucky break. Yesterday there were just two German clerks. Today they're... They aren't dead. Why do you know he said he'd been there a while, so I don't think that is it. Ways of my own, I provide them with exit visas. For a price, Ugarty. Is that so parasitic? I don't mind a parasite. I object to a cut-rate one. No! It's like I'm not cut-rate. I do it all above board, my boy. You know what this is? It's an envelope. Letters of Transit, signed by General Vigon. Uh -huh. So he's got an automatic... He's selling those for more money than even I have ever dreamed of. Anymore. An automatic get out of the country, I think that is. Will you keep these for me, please? For how long? Should you trust? I don't want them here overnight. Please keep them for me. Thank you, I knew I could trust. Yeah, that kind of thing's dangerous to keep around. I hope you're more impressed with me now. Because of some letters. I... Yes, the letters are very good, but... I heard a rumor those two German couriers were carrying letters of transit. Huh? Oh. Huh. Oh. Poor devils. I am a little more impressed with you. Oh, he did it. He's the, you know, the man who... <laughs> I love the 40s and the 50s uh, style and the music and everything. Thing is, now he's got to keep those layers away from everyone else. And from others stealing them as well. Who be he? Someone he knows, anyway. But I'd like to buy your cafe. It's not for sale. So he's a guy that's trying to buy it. What do you want for Sam? I don't buy or sell human beings. Sam Ferrari wants you to work for him. Buy it, yeah. He'll double what I pay you. Yeah, but I ain't got time to spend the money I make here. Yeah. He's having a good time? Oh, shut up. Oh, Is that angry bird? For you, I should. I love you. Uh. Some Germans. Boom, 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 boom. Davis check. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. <laughs> She's beautiful, whoever she is. Will I see you tonight? I never make plans that far ahead. Give me another. Nasha, she's had enough. Don't, Don't be drunk. Yvonne, I love you, but he pays me. Yvonne. Are you going home? You've had a little too much to drink. What do you think you are pushing me around? What a fool I was to fall for a man like I noticed that there was a little, like a redub of lines and stuff, but I think they do it. They did it a lot back then. Sometimes lines probably needed changing or... Microphones played up. Uh, we are looking for a man with papers of sorts. Is he thinking about the letters being able to get out of there? I've often speculated on why you don't return to America. Did you abscond with the church funds? Yeah, but he's not allowed to. And what in heaven's name brought you to Casablanca? My health. I came to Casablanca for the waters. The waters? What waters? We're in the desert. I was misinformed. Rick, there's going to be some excitement here tonight. We're going to make an arrest in your cafe. Oh, are they? This is no ordinary arrest. No less. Oh. If you're thinking of warning him, don't put yourself out. He cannot possibly escape. I stick my neck out for nobody. So he knows he knows. For you, we're staging it here. It will amuse your customers. <laughs> that was a good shot. Oh, that's a brilliant shot with the shadow. I see. And what's Strasser doing here? He certainly didn't come all the way to Casablanca to witness a demonstration of your efficiency. Lou, well, you got something on your mind. Why don't you spill it? How observant you are. As a matter of fact, I wanted to give you a word of advice. Don't take any papers? 
Rick, there are many exit pieces sold in this cafe, but we know that you never sold one. That is the yep. reason we permit you to remain open. Yep. But if you get one handed over, we can shut you down. You will offer a fortune to anyone who will furnish him with an exit visa. Uh, what's his name? Victor Laszlo. Victor Laszlo? Rick, that is the first time I've ever seen you so impressed. I don't know who Victor... We haven't met Victor, have we? Laszlo must never reach America. He stays in Casablanca. It'll be interesting to see how he manages. Manages what? With an exit visa. This is the end of the chase. 20,000 francs says it isn't. Is that a serious offer? Make it 10. I'm only a poor, corrupt official. <laughs> no matter how clever he is, he still needs an exit visa. Yeah. Or I should say two. He is traveling with a lady. And the lady is Ingrid Bergman. Who you ever gave you the impression that I might be interested in helping Laszlo escape? Because, my dear Ricky, I suspect that under that cynical shell, you're at heart a sentimentalist. In Casablanca, I am master of my fate. He just works off his own accord. So this is the arrest. Take him quietly. Two guards at every door. Uh, may I recommend Verve Clicquot, 26, a good French wine? I don't know anything about wine. I was like, yes, of course it is. In a few minutes, you'll see the arrest of the man of your couriers. Hmm. Monsieur Ugarty. Uh-oh. La partie continue. Yes. You're here. Certainly. For me. May I first please kiss my chips? Yeah, <laughs> and he'll throw something in your face, probably, and run. Two thousand, please. Two thousand. Mate, there's no escape. I was gonna say, just go quietly. Oh. Oh. Rick, help me. Be a fool, you can't get away. Can't help you. Me. Do something. No. You must help me. He's got a reputation to keep. Rick. You can't. You're the one that went absolutely balmy. I stick my neck out for nobody. Yeah. I wonder if at the same time though he's thinking he was a good friend. All right, Sam. Okay. Bro. Just play as if nothing happened. Uh, this is Major Heinrich Strasser. How do you do, Mr. Rick? Oh, how do you do? Uh -huh. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Unofficially, of course. Of course. I wonder if he does it, if he does suspect him. I was born in New York City, if that'll help you, honey. As one of the people that has... Here from Paris at the time of the occupation. Escaped there. Are you one of those people who cannot imagine the Germans and their beloved Paris? Who do you think will win the war? I haven't the slightest idea. We have a complete dossier on you. Blaine, American, age 37, cannot return to his country. The reason is a little vague. We also know what you did in Paris, Mr. Blaine, and also we know why you left Paris. Oh, my eyes really brown. Yeah. <laughs> you know more about me than I do. We are checking up on anybody who can be of any help to us. Yeah, but it's a little bit creepy that they've got all these information. I know they, they really delve deep. Victor Laszlo published the foulest lies in the Prague newspapers until the very day we marched in it, even after that. He continued to print scandal sheets in his cellar. Hey, excuse me, gentlemen, your business is politics. Mine is running a saloon. Oh, it's known as a saloon, is it? There's me thinking it was a bar, cafe type thing. No, it's a saloon, sir. Yes, monsieur. That's Who's Ingrid Bergman. Yes. yes. I Mr. vaguely Lando. remember her face. She looks kind of similar to the, to the previous girl. Why did he look like he knew her? Sam looks like he knows her or the guy or someone. Or... In fact, a few people do. I feel somehow we shouldn't stay here. If you would walk out so soon, it would only call attention to us. Oh, are they German or French? Excuse me, but uh, you look like a couple who are on their way to America. Well? You'll find a market there for this ring. I'm forced to sell it at a great sacrifice. The ring is quite unique. Oh, yes, I'm very interested. Uh huh. I'll meet you in a few minutes at the bar. I'm loving this, the the secret hidden world. Monsieur Laszlo, is it not? Yes. <laughs> You're under arrest. It isn't often we have so distinguished a visitor. Mm hmm. The present French administration hasn't always been so cordial. Ah, oh, so he's French. Somewhere I've seen him. Sam, he came from Paris with Rick. Rick, who is he? Maybe she knows Rick. Laszlo, may I present Major Heinrich Strasser? But you see, Major Strasser, I'm a Czechoslovakian. You were a Czechoslovakian. Now you are a subject of the German. Hmm. Is it your all that we come to your office? Uh, let us say it is my request. That is a much more pleasant word. Because if it wasn't your request, I wouldn't bother. This time they really mean to stop me. Victor, I'm afraid for you. I would be too. Don't go, Victor. <laughs> Sam on the piano is like... Is anybody listening? Are you ready? I'm a little bit nervous because it feels like there's about to be a, like a shootout or something. Or something's going to happen. 
the tense, like uh, the lighting and the, the prolonged shots on people is just. He does know her. Sam knows. I didn't catch her name. Sorry, but Ingrid Bergman's character. I'm looking for a man by the name of Rugarte. He's supposed to help me. He's under arrest. For that was the guy that we saw. The man who talks like these. Tomorrow night there's a meeting at the Cavendor Walk. Could you ask the piano player to come over here, please? Really are going to give all the secrets away. Two champagne cocktails, please. Buttering them up now, old oh boy. Hello, Sam. Hello, God, he's bringing the piano and everything. It's been a long time. Yes, yeah, so he does know her. Some of the old songs, Sam. Hmm. Play me something, Sam. Play me. Where is Rick? I don't know. I ain't seen him all night. Is this why she asked him to play? So that she can talk without people interrupting? He's got a girl up to the blue parrot. You used to be a much better liar, Sam. <laughs> Leave him alone, Miss Elsa. Elsa, okay. Play it once, Sam. Play it again. Play as time goes by. Ah, oh, as time goes by, it's a beautiful song. I'll hum it for you. Yes. You must be my man. Oh, bless her. Is she, was, she, was she in love with Rick? Sam, I thought I told you never to play. But he plays it for one girl. And one girl alone. Hello, Rick. Oh, you've already met Rick, Mademoiselle. Well, he has a great deal about Rick in Casablanca. The precedent is being broken. Rick never sits with anybody. Let's see the last time we met. Was La Bella Roa. How nice, you remember. But of course, that was the day the Germans marched into Paris. Interesting to know what happened with them, though. I hope you didn't overstay our welcome. Because they are so mysterious. I, I'm presuming that they were lovers before and they had to split up, maybe, because of the this struggle and they had to go into hiding. Can you say goodnight to Sam for me? I will. What in the world can play as time goes by like Sam? He hasn't played it in a long time. Since he last saw you. I say in hiding, though, because I'm presuming that's what it is. I feel like that's what I've got from the film. Very puzzling fellow this week. What sort is he? Like laying low. Tomorrow at 10 at the prefect office. We'll be there. Good, Good night. Good night. I don't think she should go. Because they'll only, I don't know, capture her or something as well. Ain't nothing like a solitude drink. Boss? Ah, Sam, can I go home now? Boss, aren't you going to bed? Not right now. He's thinking about a certain Elsa. You ever going to bed? No. <laughs> I'll play you something. Boss, let's get out of here. Waiting for a lady. Please, boss, let's go. Ain't nothing but trouble for you here. Coming back, I know she's coming back. But will she? We'll take the car and drive all night. We'll get drunk. We'll go fishing and stay away until she's gone. Shut up and go home, will you? He's just trying to look out for you. It's December 1941 in Casablanca. What time is it in New York? What? My watch stopped. <laughs> My watch stopped. I bet they're asleep all over America. I don't know the time difference between those two places. Of all the gin joints and all the towns in all the world, she Why walks into mine. I didn't know that this, that was from this. I know that as in all the joints in all the world. Why'd you have to walk into mine? I, that's how I thought it was. Played it for her, played it for me. Well, I don't think I can remember. If she can stand it, I can. Play it again, Sam. I love this song. It's the song that was obviously their song years ago and it's just eating them up. Hence why you didn't want Sam to play it. I like this scene with shows time passing with the, the background changing and stuff. When times were better. Before the trouble started. They are in Paris. <laughs> the lighting on this film is just Gorgeous. Who are you really and what were you before? What did you do and what did you think, huh? We said no questions. No questions but that one. <laughs> Here's looking at you, kid. That's from this as well. I didn't know half... I, I knew of the quotes, but I didn't know what they were from. Here's looking at you, kid. I've always done it in that style of voice, but I've never known what it was from. It reminds me of the dance scene in uh, It's a Wonderful Life. I'm so lucky why I should find you waiting for me to come along. Why there is no other man in my life? Because I love you and only you. That's easy. There was. Oh. He's dead. I'm sorry for asking. I forgot we said no questions. Yeah, but that one was allowed. Only one answer can take care of all our questions. And then the war happened. Yep. Needless and absolutely pointless. 
What was the point in the wars? What was the absolute point? Just people going, I want to invade! No, I want to invade! Les troupes françaises ont abandonné leur position. The French language is beautiful. Wednesday, Thursday at the latest, they'll be in Paris. Richard, they'll find out your record. It won't be safe for you here. I'm on their blacklist already. <laughs> their role of honor. At least they gave us some of the backstory. Never out of day. This is the dark suit scene that I've seen the picture of. Yeah, it's this shot here. So, hence why this song is so memorable to them both. This ought to take the sting out of being occupied. He's looking at you, kid. Yeah. So maybe this is where everything goes wrong. I yeah. Chosen, I am one of her and then too. that is the reason why it causes such a bad memory in their head. They're hunting people down. They have to go into hiding. They're telling us how to act when they come marching in. The whole world crumbling. We pick this time to fall in love. Yeah, it's pretty bad timing. Yeah. Where were you, say, ten years ago? Yes, I was having a brace put on my teeth. Oh my god. They're great together. Is that can on fire? Or is yep. it my heart pounding? I like that. Is that is that cannon fire or is it my heart pounding? Yeah, I'm getting closer every minute. Hmm. Yeah, I can imagine that that would cause a horrible memory for them the last time they heard the song together. And don't forget there's a price on your head. I know so very little about you. I know very little about you. Just the fact that you had your teeth straightened. <laughs> <laughs> and that he's got a... You must leave Paris. No, 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 we must leave. He's got a, an amount on his head, so... Now, the train for Marseille leaves at 5 o'clock. I'll pick you up at your hotel at 4.30. No, no, not at my hotel. I... I have things to do in the city before I leave. I'll meet you at the station. I mean, you're better off not seeing each other. Say, so why don't we get married, Marseille? She doesn't want to. It's too far ahead to plan. Yes, I guess it is a little too far ahead. She's planning on leaving him, isn't she? Engineer, why can't he marry us on the train? Oh, darling. The captain on a ship can. It doesn't seem fair that... Hey. Hey, what's wrong, kid? Is she worried? And I hate this war so much. She doesn't want to get married during a time of suffering, maybe? If something should keep us apart, wherever they put you, and wherever I'll be, I want you to know that. So she knows that something's going to happen. Kiss me as if it were the last time. That was quite a, like an image. She spills the wine and it's all over. She's not going to be there. She is not going to be there. I don't know why, but there's Sam Blessing. Where is she? Have you seen her? No, Mr. Richard, I can't find her. She checked out of the hotel, but there's no uh, came just after you. Richard, I cannot go with you ever. Uh, see you again. Oh, can I ever see you again? You must not ask why, but believe that I love you always, my darling. And God bless you. Elsa. Oh, God. I love that they left that on there long enough for you to read. Come on, Mr. Richard, let's get out of here. Without any explanation, in the height of the war and people coming after him, that's it. Just split. But why? Did she do it for her own safety or...? And he didn't keep the letter either. He just chucked it. Oh. That reminds them of the, uh... The wine, probably, as well. There she is. She came! Is he gonna get an answer now as to why she left? I saved my first drink to have with you. Break not tonight. Especially tonight. Yeah. Why did you have to come to Casablanca? There are other places. Yeah, why'd you have to come back and pull everything out? Funny about your voice, how it hasn't changed. I can still hear it. Richard, dear, I'll go with you any place. Mm. We'll get on a train Please together don't. and never stop. Don't drink. Meet me tomorrow, blah, 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 and then a uh, bye bye How long was it we had, honey? I didn't count the days. Well, I did. Yeah. Every one of them. The lighting is gorgeous in this scene. The wow finish, a guy standing on a station platform in the rain with a comical look on his face because his insides had been kicked out. Can I tell you a story, Rick? Has it got a wow finish? Yeah. I don't know the finish. Is it gonna help? Go on, tell me everyone will come to you as you go along. <laughs> it's about a girl who had just come to Paris from her home in Oslo. She met a man about whom she had heard her whole life. Everything she knew or whatever became was because of him. And she looked up to him and worshipped him. But then... The post was love. Don't leave him. Who was it you left me for? Oh, bless Was it Laszlo or were there others in between? Or no, it shouldn't be. the kind that tells. I don't think she left her, him for anybody. It was for the issues that they were going through, like with the, the war and needing to keep themselves safe. I think. That's what it seems like. 
But she should at least have told him, or tell him now, why. I strongly suspect that you got he left the letters of transit with Mr. Blaine. I would suggest you search the cafe immediately and thoroughly. If Rick has the letters, he's much too smart to let you find them there. Yeah, he, he won't. My impression was that he's just another blundering American. Nope. To Laszlo, we want him watched 24 hours a day. It may interest you to know that at this very moment he's on his way here. Ah, is he now? He's here. There's nothing we can do. I'm delighted to see you both. Hmm. Oh, I feel like this is gonna. This is not gonna end very well. So far, you have been fortunate enough in eluding us. It is my duty to see that you stay in Casablanca. Captain, would you think it is possible that Laszlo will receive a visa? I'm afraid not. My regrets, monsieur. But what about Elsa? You needn't be concerned about me. Is it all you wish to tell us? Don't be in such a hurry. You have all the time in the world. You may be in Casablanca indefinitely. You have all the time. Or you may leave for Lisbon tomorrow. Oh. You know the leader of the underground movement in Paris, in Prague. Tell me that and you get to leave. Furnish me with their names and their exact whereabouts. No. Blackmail, don't. If I didn't give them to you in a... Why would I now? I certainly won't give them to you now. From every corner of Europe, hundreds, thousands would rise to take our places. No one could take your place in the event anything unfortunate should occur to you while you were trying to escape. You won't dare to interfere with me here. They're gonna try, though. Renault. Monsieur, insofar as it is in my power... They'll try some tricky way of... ...that you evinced an interest in Signor Ugarte. I believe you have a message for him. Nothing important, but... May I speak to him now? You would find the conversation a trifle one-sided. Signor Ugarte is dead. Oh, is he? I'm making out the report now. We haven't quite decided whether he committed or died trying to escape. Absolute asses. Are you quite finished with us? For the time being. I'm stunned that they... That's it, just don't need him anymore. He was trouble, so get rid of him. I mean, I know that's how things were. They were in like that in reality as well, so... It's typical that now he's wearing the hat with a grey suit. <laughs> I could have worn it, it would have been fine. I want it to be diff different. Well, have a drink with me. I'll have a drink in the morning. Fezzes are cool. There's something I want to talk over with you, anyhow. Let me guess, buying the place again? No one knows where those letters of transit are. Practically no one. If I can lay my hands on those letters, I can make a fortune. Well, so could I, and I... Yeah, I was gonna say he could. I have a proposition for whoever has those letters. Because he knows that you've gone. Rick, I'll put my cards on the table. I think you know where those letters are. He's not gonna tell you. Excuse me, I'll be getting back. Only 700 francs. <laughs> You're being cheated. <laughs> Doesn't matter, thank you. Ah, the lady's a friend of Rick's. For friends of Rick's, we have a small discount. Did I say 700 francs? I <laughs> 200. For special friends of Rick's, we have a special discount of 100 francs. Shows just how much of a rip-off. Why did you come back? To tell me why you ran out on me at the railway station? I don't think I will, Rick. Last night I saw what has happened to you. The Rick I knew in Paris, I could tell him he'd understand. But he's like this now because of you. And he did say that about his drink. I don't think he's drunken that much. Till the night before. Did you run out on me because you couldn't take it? Because you knew what it would be like? Hiding from the police? Running away all the time? That's kind of what I expected. You can believe that if you want to. All the same, someday you'll lie to Laszlo. No, you see, Victor Laszlo is my husband. And was, even when I knew you in Paris. What? She was married when she met him. And was flinging away with him and kissing him and stuff. Uh, Signor Ferrari thinks it might just be possible to get the next visa for you. Oh, I feel for him now. I'll stay here and keep on Right, so he, I'm sure. So he can get her, her a visa or not. We take a miracle to get you out of Casablanca. And the Germans yeah. have outlawed miracles. We are only interested in two visas, Signor. They're after him, though. They're after Laszlo, but they're not after Elsa. Elsa could, could get out fine. If I had to stay and there were only visa for one, would you take it? Yes, I would. Yes, yep. I see. When I had trouble getting out of Lille, why didn't you leave me there? But I think for me, like, if it was... If I was in love with someone and we could only get one or the other, I wouldn't take it because it means leaving them there. I mean, to be fair, she did that with Rick anyway, so... I don't quite trust this guy, though. We've decided, Senor Ferrari. For the present, we'll go on looking for two exit visas. Observe that you, in one respect, are a very fortunate man, monsieur. I love that shadow shot of the parrot behind. Those letters were not found on Ugarte when they arrested him. Meaning they are still with Rick. But I'll venture to guess that Ugarte left those letters with Monsieur Rick. Yep. One never knows what he'll do or why, but it is worth a chance. Thank you very much. And that was a good shot as well. It started that shot with the, the ring behind his head. It's gracious of you to share it with me. Good day, man, monsieur. Monsieur? Still don't trust him though. Feel like there's something sly going on. I'm probably wrong though. <laughs> yes, you, sir. Uh, good luck, yeah. I know he's a bit of a sleaze ball as it is anyway, but. I beseech you, this is a dangerous place full of he's just... Yes, he's just. 
That one was obvious, though. Even she's nervous. I would be as well. You are getting to be your best customer. <laughs> You're getting to be your own best customer. Drinking. I'm very pleased with you. Now you're beginning to live like a Frenchman. Her coming back started his drinking off again. You wouldn't find the letters here, but I told my men to be especially destructive. So they asked him to just wreck it anyway. Looks like you're a little late. Huh? Ah, oh. oh, she's back. The lady from before. So Yvonne's gone over to the enemy. Who knows? In her own way, she may constitute an entire second front. I wondered if she was doing it to make him jealous. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. What did you say? Would you kindly repeat it? What I said is none of your business. I will make a... Why are you with him saying certain names, I think? My play, try to lay off politics and get out. The situation is not as much under control as you believe. My dear Major, we are trying to cooperate with your government, but we cannot regulate the feelings of our people. They can't say, you know, those people fighting down there, that's because we feel that way. Everybody feels their own way. They are each their own. Waiting for their chance, waiting perhaps for a leader. Hmm, they're afraid of people rising up. To celebrate our leaving for America tomorrow. My Reichstag and I are speaking nothing but English now. So we should feel at home when we get to America. To America. I drank at the same time as they did. Liebchen, uh, sweetness out. What watch? Ten watch. Such much? You will get along beautifully in America. <laughs> <laughs> what watch? Ten watch. Such much. Love that. Oh, we saw her before. You get in here, you're underage. I came with Captain Reno. I should have known. She wants to get out of the country as well. Where's your husband? At the roulette table. Trying to win enough for our exit visas. Yeah, they're trying to get out. And they're trying to get hold of the visas that he's got. And then Captain Reno sees us. He tells me he can give us an exit visa. Mm-hmm. You've got them. And you want to know? Will he keep his word? Hmm. He always has. Oh, you are a man. Yes. If someone loved you very much, so that your happiness was the only thing that she wanted in the world. Don't remind him of it. Could you forgive her? Nobody ever loved me that much. Do you want my advice? Oh, yes, please. Go back to Bulgaria. Why does everyone want to get to America? Land of the free, maybe. Now I know the dynamic of she was married to him and... I'll have Sam play as time goes by. I believe that's your favorite tune. Hmm. He's like, what? No. Really? You sure? <laughs> He's like, oh my god, again, no. I'm not doing this. He's just causing trouble, though, with the playing the song and trying to just weed into her brain, like, this is what you did to me. She's looking for the husband. He's looking for the husband, sorry. I said 22. Yeah. So it's uh, rigged. I know some of those boards can be, they can be rigged by, was it like weighted or magnetized or something? Yeah, so it'll always Don't come back. Win. They're on to you. This place is honest. Honest as honest as a day is long. How are we doing tonight? Well, a couple of thousand less than I thought there would be. Hmm. Yeah, that was completely rigged. The police officer was watching you though. Just be careful, Rick. Yep. He could get in trouble, though, for helping them out of the country by giving them money. But it was lovely to help them out. As I suspected, you're a rank sentimentalist. Yeah, why? <laughs> why do you interfere with my little romances? Put it down as a gesture to love. Okay, so it was okay to do that. But I'll be in tomorrow night with a breathtaking blonde. And it'll make me very happy if she loses. <laughs> Mr. Blaine, I wonder if I could talk to you. I've not said it much in this film, but the cinematography of this is impeccable. There's not many hints of things that stand out to me, but just the, the shots just look good. The lighting, really, is what helps. The problems of the world are not in my department. You fought against the fascists in Spain. What of it? Isn't it strange that you always happen to be fighting on the side of the underdog? Are you enough of a businessman to appreciate an offer of 100,000 francs? But he can't help you get out of there. My friend, you could make it a million francs if... Yeah, you can't help. There must be some reason why you won't let me have them. There is. It's illegal. I suggested you ask your wife. I mean, oh. I said, ask your wife. My wife? Yes. Oh, he's really putting them to an ultimatum. He's going to give a... F you get the papers and you find out what's happened. Or 
you don't, and you live happily. Don't think Rick's gonna like that much. The only reason I'm saying I don't think Rick's gonna like it much is, I, is that song a... Oh, he's going against the, the Germans. Uh-oh. Fighting in verbal. They have no other way of fighting, so this is their their way of pushing against them, saying, This is our land! This is our country! Mm, they are not going to like that. What? This is a pro-France pump! Uh, yeah. I advise that this place be shut up at once. But everyone is no. having such a good time. Yeah. The time. The place is to be closed. But I have no excuse to close it. Find one. So he's just been told. He just has to close it. Everybody is to leave here immediately. This cafe is closed until further notice. No. All because of that. Because some twit. I'm shocked, shocked to find that gambling is going on in here. You're winning, sir. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> I'm shocked to find gambling is here. Oh, you're, oh, thank you very much. This terms it is not safe for Lazlo to stay in Casablanca. This morning you implied it was not safe for him to leave Casablanca. Yeah. Oh, that lighting on like, the staircase there, the, the diagonal light and everything. Just... Beautiful. Stay away from the windows. Please don't go to the underground meeting tonight. Oh my God, he's gonna. Another man has a chance to display heroics before his wife. After what's happened. Morning tonight, I'm frightened. Tell you yeah. Truth, I'm frightened too. So shall I remain here in our hotel room hiding, or shall I carry on the best I can? Whatever I'd say, you would carry on. I understand the carry on thing, but you really need to be careful. Apparently, he has the letters. Yes. But no intention of selling them. One would think if sentiment wouldn't persuade him, money would. So she, now she's going to try Did and... Did he give any reason? He suggested I ask you. You? Yep. Ask me? Yes, he said, uh, ask your wife. Yeah. I don't know why he said that. Why did he say it? I'll be going in a few minutes. Don't do it, you're going to be captured. Were you lonely in Paris? Hmm. Yes, Victor, I was. I know how it is to be lonely. I feel like he knows. Is there anything you wish to tell me? Mm, he knows. No, Victor, there isn't. If you did anything... I love you very much, my dear. She could at least have the courtesy to tell him. Victor, whatever I do, will you believe that I... That... You don't even have to say it. He seems like a really like, loving and trustworthy person in a relationship sense. The rest of it, I... Yeah. No, he's gonna get captured by that lady. Or man, or whoever it was. Something's gonna happen. Where's she going? Oh, is she going to go and see Rick to try and get the papers? Yeah, she's going to see Rick. The song's playing, their song's playing. Just remember me. I like that you can always tell that with films. In the meantime, everybody stays on salary. They even... Oh, he's keeping people on salary even though it's closed. But you can always tell in films, though, um, one scene will then mention someone and then the next scene you see them or... They'll do the same thing and they'll portray that within the soundtrack of you know what's about to happen, possibly, because of what happens within the soundtrack itself. Um, she's there. Jeez. How did you get in? Through the window. Seems as long as I have those letters, I'll never be lonely. You can ask any price you want, but you must give me those letters. He doesn't have to. Do I have to hear again what a great man your husband is, what an important cause he's fighting for? In your own way, you were fighting for the same thing. I'm not fighting for anything was. anymore except myself. Yeah, he was doing it because of you originally. Now he doesn't want to. If those days meant anything at all to me. I wouldn't bring up Paris if I were you. It's poor salesmanship. Please, please listen to me. If you knew what really happened, if you only knew the truth. I wouldn't believe you no matter what you told me. You'd say yep. anything now to get what you want. I would be exactly the same. There's so much at stake, all you can think of is your own feeling. No, because you're the one that... You are the one that made him feel like that. That's why he feels like that against you. If you don't help us, Victor Laszlo will die in Casablanca. I mean, yes, he is being selfish with the whole Victor Laszlo thing. If I was in that situation, I was just gone. All right. Okay. No, 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 no. I think now I want those letters. Get them for me. I did not think that she would have a gun. For the if last I... time, put them on the table. If I was in her situation, in his situation, sorry, I would. All right, I'll make it easier for you. Don't. Go ahead and shoot. You'll be doing me a favor. If I was in his situation, 
I would have felt sorry for Victor Laszlo. I thought I would never see you again. Because it hurt his feelings, really. You were out of my life. I thought she was going to shoot him. <laughs> Just I frightened myself with that. If you knew what I went through, if you knew how much I loved you. Oh, don't twist his heart. Oh, no, no, not again. No, no. And he's now spent time with her. Long after we were married that Victor went back to Czechoslovakia. She's so confused she doesn't know who she wants, Victor or him. I was lonely, I had nothing, not even hope. I know she's just trying to get the layers back. Then I met you. Why did you keep your marriage a secret? What yeah, was exactly. My, not even our closest friends knew about our marriage. Then don't come on to that him. Was his way of protecting me. I knew so much about his work. So she had to come on to someone else instead? Just before you and I were to leave Paris together friend came and told me that Victor was alive. Hence why she was like she was. I wanted to tell you, but I, I didn't dare. So she left without saying goodbye. But still a story without an ending. I know that I'll never have the strength to leave you again. And Laszlo? No, you'll help him now, Richard, won't you? Until she gets the letters and then Ptoo! off into the sunset again. I ran away from you once. I can't do it again. She's twisting his little finger. I don't know what's right any longer. Sure she is. You have to think for both of us. Although I do understand if she is truly feeling this way, I understand how she's feeling. That she just wants to help him out, as in not him. But... He's looking at you, kid. <laughs> Victor Laszlo. There, she didn't kiss you on the lips there. I do not think she really cares for you. <laughs> She's just doing it. Uh oh, they are being hunted. I think we love them. Yes. I don't feel feel like you did. Thank you. Oh god, now now he's gonna be hiding out in there. Oh, and she's there. Uh oh. Yeah. This is probably the worst circumstances. Oh, what happened? The police break up our meeting, Eric. We escaped in the last moment. Yep. Oh, that's a great shot with the mirror. And another great shot. Yes, with the pan to the scene. Oh. I mean, what you're fighting for? The might as well question why we breathe. If we stop fighting our enemies, the world will die. He's got a point. I wonder if you know that you're trying to escape from yourself. You seem to know all about my destiny. I know a good deal more about you than you suspect. I know, for instance, that you're in love with a woman. It's perhaps a strange circumstance. That we both should be in love with the same woman. He knows. Oh, yeah, he knows. Last evening I came into this cafe. I knew there was something between you and Ilsa. Oh, he knew from then. I ask only one thing. You won't give me the letters of transit. Give her. But I want my wife to be safe. I was going to say, they, they allowed her to have a letter originally anyway. There they are. Oh, shoot. He's going to get in trouble for it as well. We have a warrant for your arrest. It seems that destiny has taken a hand. Well, he doesn't get in trouble for it. I thought he would have. For, mind you, he didn't know. Supposedly didn't know, you know, that he was... Did he tell them? By any chance, you would have helped him to escape. What makes you think I'd stick my neck out for Laszlo? Mm. Well, you might do it simply because you don't like Strasser's looks. As a matter of fact, I don't like him either. Don't count too much on my friendship, Ricky. He could turn. Yes, I have the letters. I intend using them myself. I'm leaving Casablanca on tonight's plane, the last plane. Oh. I'm taking a friend with me, one you'll appreciate. What friend? Ilza Lund. Oh, her name's Ilza. Sorry, I've been saying Elsa the entire time. It's Ilza. Apologies. You have the letters of transit. Sure she said Elsa earlier. Why are you still interested in what happens to Laszlo? Well, someone said else of it. If instead of this petty charge you have against him, you could get something really big, quite a feather in your cap. Yeah, but what's he going to tell him? You'll be at my place a half an hour before the plane leaves. I'll arrange to have Laszlo come there to pick up the letters of transit, and that'll give you the criminal grounds on which to make the arrest. Oh. Hook, line, and sinker, boys. Yes, I don't quite understand. Why? But you were never interested in any woman. She isn't just any woman. Yep. Call off your watchdogs when you let them go. I don't want them around this afternoon. I'm taking no chances, Louis, not even with you. I still think he's going to give the tickets to Laszlo and the girl, unless Laszlo does actually stay detained. Should we draw up papers, or is a handshake good enough? By the way, my agreement with Sam has always been that he gets 25% of the profits. Okay, he's still talking about leaving, so maybe he is. Well, so long. At least he's given Sam some of the profits. So who's that? Is that going to be Laszlo? I feel like it's not Laszlo. Why would he be knocking on the door like that? All right, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Late. I was informed just as Laszlo was about to leave the hotel. So I knew I'd be on time. Oh, it's him, right? Okay, so I thought... Oh, he won't be followed here. You know, this place will never be the same without you, Ricky. Yes, I... I don't think he would be there. I thought Laszlo was coming and they would meet him. Tell me, when we searched the place, where were they? Sam's piano. Tell him all of this. Oh, here they are. Right, go hide, 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 hide. And then go away. Don't capture him. 
I want Laszlo and Zilsa to be happy. Victor thinks I'm leaving with him. Haven't you told him? No, not yet. Please. Sorry. We'll tell him at the airport the less time to thank the easy oh. for all of us. Please trust me. Does she know? Oh god, don't trust him. Well, trust him, but this is a whole mush of emotions, this film. I brought the money, Monsieur Blaine. Keep it, you'll need it in America. Yeah, that is a great shot from above to down. Victor Laszlo? Victor Laszlo, you're under That's arrest. That's how he does it. On the charge of it, but I will if you take one more step. Under the circumstances, I will sit down. <laughs> Wise move. I wonder if you realize what this means. I do. You call the airport and let me hear you tell them. And remember, this gun is pointed right at your heart. That is my least vulnerable spot. Yep, but it'll end your life, so... Is that the airport? Huh? This is Captain Renault speaking. No. Hello? No. What a... Bloody ass! It wants to be here. I'm definitely gonna have to uh, crop that picture out in the background. Hello, hello, radio tower. YouTube doesn't like any mention of uh, that kind of thing. So what's gonna happen? Are they gonna come storming in the last second, or? Buy Mr. Lazo's luggage and put it on the plane. Yes, sir. If you don't mind, you fill in the names. That'll make it even more official. I reckon. Wonder if she's got a. And the names are Mr. and Mrs. Victor Laszlo. But. Yep, told you. Because you're getting on that plane. Yep. I don't understand. What about you? I'm staying Good man. with him until the plane gets safely away. No, Richard, no. You deserve to be happy with him. You're getting on that plane with Victor where you belong. But Richard, yeah. no, I... You have any idea what you'd have to look forward to if you stayed here? This is a famous scene as well. I recognise it. I'm saying it because it's true. Inside of us, we both know you belong with Victor. You're part of his work, the thing that keeps him going. Yeah. You'll regret it. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but soon and for the rest yes. of your life. But what about us? We'll always have Paris. And I said I would never leave you. And you never will. Where I'm going, you can't follow. What I've got to do, you can't be any part of. Hilda, I'm no good at being noble, but it doesn't take much to see that the problems of three little people don't amount to a hill of beans in this crazy world. No, no. He's looking at you, kid. He's looking at you, kid. <laughs> yeah, this is a perfect way to end that. Too late, mate. Too late. He's already going to be gone by the time you get there. said you know about Ilza and me. Yes. But you didn't know she was at my place last night when you were. Came there for the letters of transit. Isn't that true, yeah. Ilza? Yes. She did her best to convince me that she was still in love with me. I understand. Here it is. Good man. He told him as well. I appreciate it. He was truthful. Very good gentleman. God, oh, jeez. That frightened the heck out of me. Quiet talking and then... <laughs> Go, go now, before... Are you ready, Ilsa? Yes, go, go. God, this beautiful cinematography. Shots are just gorgeous. Who knew that an airport would <laughs> look so wonderfully beautiful? Or an airport, should I say, because it's probably not. It's just a soundstage. But... Out of all that madness, all that sorrow, all of that rubbish, two people got away safe and... What you just did for Laszlo, that fairy tale you invented to send Ilsa... Did you... He shot him! Oh my God! Well, it's kind of not good news for him now. Because now he's shot an officer of the law. Major Strasser has been shot. Round up the usual suspects. Oh, so he's... Because he didn't like him very much anyway, I don't think. But they're saying it wasn't him. I don't know why he's doing it, but... I like that he... Why did he do that with a bottle? I'm confused. Did he do that with a bottle because it was a German bottle? Maybe? It might be a good idea for you to disappear from Casablanca for a while. Might be. Louis? Is he going as well? I think this is the beginning of a beautiful friendship. That's from this as well. I know that line. I know they say it in a lot of things. But I knew it was from an older film. This was it. Absolutely beautiful. I thoroughly enjoyed that. The drama in that was different to what I expected it to be. Like the whole film was different to what I expected it to be. I didn't know that the Germans were part of it. I didn't know, you know. A lot of that was there. All I knew was that it had Humphrey Bogart and Ingrid Bergman in it. It was kind of like, a, in some ways, like a Romeo and Juliet. I can definitely see how that's become a cinematic great. Now, on the side of things like photography and lighting and that kind of thing, the cinematography of that was, even though it was stunning, it was gorgeous. There were certain shots that were just, mwah, just, yes. The lighting was especially incredible in that. Um, so many shots that I can remember for the lighting, like the scene with the stairs, you know, where they're walking up the stairs and you've got that lighting from underneath. It just looks great. The film sets were just insanely good. 
I don't know if maybe they were modelled off of real places or inspired by real places from, you know, Parisian places, or if maybe they even filmed in some Parisian places for this. Yes, so at the end of the film I did mention about, oh, that's probably just shot on a big soundstage. It turns out the entire film was filmed on a soundstage or a studio. The film was shot entirely at Warner Brothers Studios in Burbank, California, with the exception of one sequence <laughs> This is where it's hilarious, because I went, oh, it's probably a soundstage. With the exception of this one sequence at Van Nuys or Van nu Nuys Airport in Los Angeles. Okay, so the one scene that was filmed on location, that wasn't filmed on a studio, the one film that was filmed on location at the Metropolitan Airport of Van Nuys uh, was the arrival of Captain Strasser. The site has since been incorporated into Van Nuys Airport, 6590 Havenhurst Avenue occupying the area between Woodley Avenue to the east, Balboa Boulevard to the west, and Roscoe Boulevard and Vanoen Street. The Art Deco control tower has been demolished, but until recently you could have seen one of the old hangars from the movie. When the airport was realigned, the two hangars were no longer contained within the terminal boundaries. Used as engineering workshops, they could be found on Waterman Drive, a tiny private street running west from Woodley Avenue between Daly Drive and Lindbergh Street to the northeast of the airport lot. One hangar was demolished some years ago, but the other survived. The final trace of Casablanca, which stood on the south side of the slight bend in the drive, has now also disappeared. Although, apparently it seems that the facade of the last hangar was dismantled and put into storage, and there are plans for it to be restored one day. Yeah, I've got to say, for the film itself, like, aside from some of the trivia, which we'll get back into in a second, I don't know why I've taken so long to see it, because every single aspect of the film was perfectly... I feel like that's the same with a lot of the older films, like when we saw Citizen Kane, that was expertly played out, like, from all departments. It just looked and sounded stunning everything about it. The same goes for this as well, like there's not really anything you can fault it on. The storyline was very very well portrayed, uh, I completely understood it, there was a few certain points near the start that I was a little bit unsure but I always try and get to grips and wrap my head around the storyline probably far earlier than I should do um, and think one thing and it's not meant to be revealed until slightly later anyway. I try and grapple with it before it's ready. But all in all, I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it. Anyway, I'm going to go back onto the movie trivia now. Oh, many of the actors who played the party, you know, the the the, the German parties, well, I will say, uh, were in fact German Jews who had escaped from those parties in Germany. Surprising that then they would want to play them. Suppose they want to portray them in such a horrible light because of what they did. But if that was me and something had happened like that. I don't feel like I'd want to portray them in any light. I wouldn't want to give them any kind of spotlight, if that makes sense. Aha! Rick's Cafe was one of the few original sets built for the film. The rest were all recycled from other Warner Brothers productions due to wartime restrictions on building supplies. Oh, wow. You know the scene where they're singing two different songs at each other? The French song is La Ma. I'm going to absolutely annihilate this uh, wording, so apologies. La Marcelle, that word, I'll put it on the screen, is sung over the German song. And again, I'm going to put that on the screen as well, because I don't know how to pronounce that. But yes, during that scene, apparently many of the extras had real tears in their eyes, as a large number were actual refugees from that certain party's persecution in Germany and elsewhere in Europe and were overcome by the emotions the scene brought out. It's amazing that the people involved were that closely involved with what had happened and yet they took part, they wanted to take part. That scene I could understand a little bit more because they are pushing it, they are like saying no, we're standing our ground, this is our place. I suppose money's money at the end of the day, but even if I was being paid, I wouldn't betray them. Ah, that scene where they're shouting off one song against another is actually copied from Jean Renoir's, uh, sorry if I've said that again wrong, uh, The Grand Illusion from 1937, in which French soldiers in a German camp sing the song as a similar gesture of defiance. That's it. See, the whole defiance thing and saying, no, this is ours, not yours. In that film, The Grand Illusion, 
uh, the song was led by a prisoner who was in drag for a show the prisoners were putting on. The song was written in 1792 by another name that I cannot pronounce um, in Strasbourg uh, after the declaration of war by France against Austria, which was originally titled War Song for the Rhine Army, is what it was originally called. <laughs> but it's the English translation of what it was called. Because the film was made during World War II, the production was not allowed to film at an airport after dark for security reasons. Instead, it used the soundstage with a small cardboard cutout plane. No way. It used a small cardboard cutout plane and forced perspective. To give the illusion that the plane was full sized, they used little people to portray the crew preparing the plane for takeoff. Ah, do you know what? I was right. You know the bit when we were watching the scene where he says, You played it for her, you can play it for me. If she can stand it, I can. Play it. That scene, apparently, he never says play it again, Sam. It's just always portrayed in other media as him saying, Play it again, Sam and people mention that quote and quote the quote all the time. Uh, so in 1972 there's Play It Again Sam, and in 1946 there's A Night in Casablanca, and presuming again in which they say Play It Again Sam. He did, did, doesn't say those words. I remember seeing the scene when we were watching it and going, oh okay he hasn't said the line, he's possibly going to say it sometime you know, later in the film or whatever, but that never happened. Although I did notice that there's a heck of a lot of sayings, quotes and all that sort of stuff from that that I never knew was from that. Apparently, I don't know if this is true or not, but Ingrid Bergman's line, Victor Laszlo is my husband and was, even when I knew you in Paris. That line was almost cut from the film because during that time it was deemed inappropriate for a film to depict or suggest a woman romancing with another man, if she was already married. Ilsa later explains that she had thought Laszlo was dead at the time, which allowed the censors to leave the line in. I'm kind of wondering if maybe they added the line about, oh, you know, potentially thinking he's passed on, um, just so they could get away with the previous line. There you go. The last line is one of the most misquoted lines in all of film history. The correct line is, Louis, I think this is the beginning of a beautiful friendship. It has been quoted as, this could be the beginning of a beautiful friendship, or I think this is the start of a beautiful friendship, and I think that's the one I remember. This line was a last minute edition, thought up by producer Hal B. Wallace and dubbed in by Humphrey Bogart after filming was completed. That line doesn't quite sit right. I think it's because I've heard, I think this is the start of a beautiful friendship. It just sounds nicer. Okay, apparently, and this is why I always say apparently, uh, because you never know if these are 100% correct, or maybe you know they've been twisted ever so slightly, but apparently no one knew right up until the filming of the last scene whether Ilsa would end up with Rick or Laszlo. During the course of the picture, when Ingrid Bergman asked director Michael Curtis uh, which man her character was in love with, she was told to play it in between. Since the ending was not the final scene shot, there are some scenes where she was aware of how everything would turn out, and these include the scene in the black market with Rick, and the scene in the blue parrot where Ferrari offers the Laszlo's one exit visa. Also apparently several times the writers discussed having Rick leave with Ilsa, but this was always rejected, primarily because she was a married woman and the censors would have not permitted any such plotline. The final scene had to be rewritten many times till it could be made reasonably plausible as to why, despite clearly being in love with Rick, Ilsa would leave him forever to go off with Victor. Also, producer Halby Wallace nearly made the character Sam a woman. Hazel Scott, Lena Horne, and Ella Fitzgerald were considered for the role, all of which would have been absolutely amazing in the role. Oh, okay, so just before he shot Major Strasser, Humphrey Bogart ad-libbed the line, All right, Major, you asked for it. Then, uh, Halby Wallace pointed out that it made it look as if Strasser drew his gun because it was in self-defense. Veit, who plays Strasser, I think I say his name, Veit, was recalled and the scene was reshot without the added line. The original version was used in the trailer for the movie. All right, Major, you asked for it. Interesting that they used it in the trailer, but also interesting that they then took the time to call people back and to reshoot that part, that scene, that shot, 
whatever it was that they they redid i think it was the whole scene they redid amazing that they got everything to look you know exactly as here you go the allies invaded casablanca in real life on the 8th of november 1942 as the film was not due for release until spring studio executives suggested it be changed to incorporate the invasion warner brothers chief jack l warner objected as he thought that an invasion was a subject worth a whole film not just an epilogue and that the main story of this film demanded a pre-invasion setting Eventually, he gave in though, and producer Halby Wallace prepared to shoot an epilogue where Humphrey Bogart and Claude Rains hear about the invasion. However, before Rains could travel to the studio for this, David O. Selznick, whose studio owned Bergman's contract, previewed the film and urged Warner to release it unaltered and as fast as possible. Warner agreed, and it premiered in New York on November the 26th. It did not play in Los Angeles until its general release the following January, and hence competed against 1943 films for the Oscars, because, you know, this was made in 1942. I was kind of correct. You know the end when uh, the captain, was it Captain Renault, I think, drops the bottle of uh, the water into the rubbish. In that scene, he's symbolically rejecting the German-controlled Vichy government of France. So I was correct in thinking that he was doing it because it was to do with Germans. Oh, Ingrid Bergman considered her left side to be the better side, and to the extent possible, that was the side that was then photographed throughout the film. So she's almost always on the right side looking towards the left, regardless of who is in the shot with her. However, there are several shots where she is to the left and Humphrey Bogart is on the right. I keep saying Captain Renault. Was it Captain Renault or Captain Renault? Because here in the UK we say Renault, but I can't remember how his name is pronounced in the film. Do you remember I said, uh, oh, they've been, you know, with each other for a while when uh, she comes to his office uh, and he's then in the next shot or the next scene. He is then just stood by the window. And I went, ah, they've spent some time together, or something, I said. Although the censors would not allow it, there is a strong implication that Rick and Ilsa were intimate after she came to his office asking for help. A proposed sequel was then to be rumoured in the works in 2012, which would have explored the child of this union. But it was never made. Ah, Humphrey Bogart's character says in his Paris flashback to his lover that they could get a captain to marry them on a the ship. This actually does happen to Bogart's character in The African Queen in 1951. Last but not least, Captain Louis Renault. I'm saying it that way because I do think that's the way it's meant to be pronounced. So apologies, I've been saying Renault, Renault for the rest of it. <laughs> but yes, Captain Louis Renault utters the iconic command, round up the usual suspects with a clear conscience. As, although he is a witness to the actual shooting, he has witnessed Colonel Strasser firing at Rick. Thus, Louis conveniently omits the words in self-defense immediately after announcing Major Strasser has been shot. But yes guys, that is all of the trivia that I've got for you today in regards to Casablanca from 1942. I hope you really enjoyed this reaction, uh, this video in general and you know, my thoughts on the film as we were going through my little bits to the film and also you know reading through some of the trivia if you did like this kind of thing then please consider liking the video it really helps me out because it lets me know that you really do like these older films i have got plenty more that one i haven't seen and two that i am so looking forward to to showing you uh, a few that i've already done and uh, i've already seen and i cannot wait to bring them to you and uh one that i watched the other day was incredible and it has actually been requested by you guys they haven't been winners to polls this one actually was the winner to the poll that we put up on the community page again i cannot wait to bring the other ones i am so enthused to be bringing them to you so i hope you can join me for those and uh, i hope you really enjoyed this one and me dressing like i I'm a member of the FBI or something from back in the olden days. Don't forget you can check out the full reaction to this over on the Patreon page. I've got a letterbox as well, so if you want to go and follow me over there, you can see all the films that have been requested. Um, again, still needs a bit of updating, but 90%, 95% of the stuff that's been requested is on that list. And again, I'm so sorry if I have not got back to you yet in comments. I am slowly working my way through them. I say slowly because there's a fair amount that I've not read yet and I'm really trying to get through them 
as much as possible. I want to give you a good answer to the things that you've asked and said to me. I don't just want to say a couple of words answer or just not think about it and just type a couple of things. I want to fully you know, say what I think. But yeah, thank you so much for watching with me, guys. I hope you have an amazing day. Take care, stay safe, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Here's looking at you, kid. A huge thank you to those of you who have stuck around to this point. So thank you so much. It really means a lot to me and it shows that you love the content and yeah, I really appreciate it. Also, a massive thank you to those of you who support me in every way possible, including Roger C. Griffith, Douglas Collier, Terry V, Michael, Chris Holmes, Jojo, Thomas Masters, Shoehorn1234, Ress, Patrick Durr, Andrew Blount, Carlos, Marla Mize, Rob, and Chandra Blair plus anyone new who has joined the Patreon since.